there is so much to see on the island of Tenerife, from stunning beaches to lush gardens and towering cliffs. But today we are heading to the heart of the island to explore its most prominent feature, Mount Teide, a massive volcano that dominates the landscape. Of course, it wouldn't be us if there weren't roadblocks and challenges along the way. My shoes <laughs> started to fall apart and both of them join us as we climb higher and higher, passing through ever-changing scenery. From the delicate blossoms of almond trees to the rugged beauty of pine forests and finally to the moon-like terrain of the volcanic desert. Today we are in the area around Mount Teide, which is the highest mountain of Spain. You can see it behind me. It's gorgeous, very major. There is a cable car going up there, so people can go there and take a look on everything from up there. And you can see the landscape is very volcanic. It's a volcano. I forgot to mention that. We want to go there, probably, up on that mountain. I don't know if we will make it, hopefully yes, and we'll see what we will see today. This place is so touristy and there are not enough parking places. We spent almost half an hour looking for a place to park our car and we are like three kilometers away from the place where we wanted to start. So we parked the car here on the road and we will have to now hike three kilometers to the original starting point somewhere that way. Yeah. Which means we'll also have to return, so that's extra six kilometers to our original hike. Mm -hmm. But we still want to go there. So yeah, we'll that's the mountain there. behind Tommy. We have to tough it out again and Let's go. Yeah, let's go. We are now looking for the shortest way to get there. The parking lot is behind those rocks. So it's not close. And we are like walking through a desert. So that's interesting. At first I was like, let's go there, up on those mountains. One of them is called El Sombrero and there was a little tiny trail on my map but in real world we didn't see any trail so and it looked dangerous yeah so we are going there on the original destination that we have in mind that mountain 2700 something meters and we have to make it and this is also interesting, walking here, because the landscape is so different and the weather is amazing. Blue sky everywhere, no clouds. There are tiny, tiny, <laughs> tiny clouds <laughs> Horrible. developing, but that's nothing. That is just to make pictures prettier. We have great views on Mount Teide here, at least. We are going to hike through this interesting rocky area. The rocks are massive and look so different. I love it. We always love different landscapes and this is very different to us. Yeah, definitely different than our garden. Yeah, there is no volcano in our garden. Not yet. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be any. That is where we left our car, somewhere behind me. Yeah. So quite far away already. Yeah, it looks quite far away. We just have to get there in our original hike, so we're not quite there yet. But we will soon. This is the main touristy area. We remember it when we were here in 2011. And that one rock is very 
not forgettable, but the opposite of that. Yeah, it's the most photographed one, I think. Yeah, and easy to remember. But there are a lot of people here, so we need to get out of here as soon as possible. So let's run. <laughs> we are finally on our hiking trail, the one that goes up there. So that's our destination. It looks quite high. <laughs> So, I don't know, it should be easy, mm -hmm. not totally easy, but not very difficult. From here it looks difficult, but it will be okay. February, <laughs> we would have expected that. <laughs> this is exactly why I planned a summer vacation in Tenerife. Try if it's cold. Oh, it's really hard. I can't take it. It's ice. Okay. So I don't know. <laughs> but it's cold, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You can sit on it and test it. <laughs> and are you warm? Yes. From all the hiking? Look how high up we already are. Ta-da! Wow. It's amazing. We are walking along these cliffs now. It's in shade, so that's why there is snow. It looks so cool. But there are more clouds there. Yes. There is one like constantly developing and then dissipating. Now we are going there in between those two cliffs. Ah, here. It looks so cool. But we are getting close slowly. So I like it. Yeah, slowly. Slowly. <laughs> we have to be careful. There could be falling rocks. And there are. So we need to be prepared to jump away, you know, as the rock will fly onto us. Woo. Sounds like fun. Totally. Such a fun game. There is a nice cloud developing next to you. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Hello, Mr. Cloud. <laughs> We've come to your kingdom. And there is another one trying to cover the sun. <laughs> We are here in yes. Montaña Gajara. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's pronounced that way. Hopefully. Muy bien, hablamos español. Wow. <laughs> and it wasn't that hard. No. It was challenging, like we were sweating and everything, but we're not drained of energy. Mm -mm. We can go that way, continue. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe next time. Epic music. <laughs> Thank you.
now. Wow. So we are now 2,718 meters above sea level and Mount Teide behind us is 3,718. So 1,000 meters above us still. But this is great. Look at the views. There is a sea of clouds behind mm. us. <laughs> and it's so cool. And we will show you the other side as well. But the... What is this? Summit? It's quite wide, mm -hmm. you know? So we are not... Like, it's not a peak, but there is a football field here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can run here on the flat surface. And we are still more than 1,000 meters higher than the highest mountain in the Czech Republic. <laughs> so yes. we have nothing like this in our country at all. Yes, and we are even higher than the highest mountain in Slovakia, which is 2655. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Close. We are cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Yes. We are now on the caldera of the volcano, you know, the outer rim. And that's the main volcano. Then there is like a big bowl around it. And then there is a line of mountains. That's the caldera. That's the outer rim. It's visible on that side as well. It goes all the way around. So that's cool. It looks very great. I love being so close to a volcano because we don't have volcanoes <laughs> in the Czech Republic. That sucks, right? <laughs> there is nothing there. <laughs> no, we are happy about that because I think this one is active. So it's just sleeping and one day it could blow up and that wouldn't be very fun. I absolutely love the cloud sea below us. So cool. Yeah. That looks really unique. Yeah, wow, it's amazing. So you can see it's often cloudy on Tenerife on that side mainly because the wind is blowing from there, trade winds, and the clouds are developing on that side. Then we are above them and the other side is like not covered from the wind but the air goes down and it's sunnier on that side. Uh, is it epic with me? You are always epic. I'm happy we made it. <laughs> and of course, there is snow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so we are in summer and in winter at the same time. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is absolutely epic. And we will be walking through the desert down there. <laughs> And here, Teide, always present. Here, my honeybee, always present. Yes, luckily. We have to be careful about the sun because the UV index here is very high on the Canary Islands and we are at high elevation as well. So last time when we were on Teide, we burned even the skin on our head, you know, under the hair. So that was new. And Tommy even had a head on his head. Sombrero. <laughs> Sombrero that didn't help at all. So yeah, we know better. But <laughs> Tommy forgot his head now in the car. So that's not great. And we'll see what's going to happen. 
but sunscreen is here on us 50 plus for kids very strong so we should be okay at least everywhere except the hair <laughs> let's hope we are hairy enough mm -hmm. <laughs> let's hope we were afraid that it would be quite cold here on top of the mountain it's a little bit windy now when I'm filming, but this spot was windless just 10 seconds ago. So I wanted to say how pleasant it is. It's very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, Tommy's hair are up. <laughs> that, that means that he doesn't like it here. <laughs> He's always cold. Tommy gets cold easily. Easier than me. Yeah. But yeah, it's not as cold as we were afraid. It's quite pleasant here. We don't even need our jackets. Which we have with us here. Yeah. But I'll put it on, I think, in a moment. Yeah, but just thinner ones. We left thicker ones in the car because we were like, it's warm there. It should be like five or six degrees colder on top of the mountain, but that's still okay. So here we are. There is a little problem. Look, my shoes <laughs> started to fall apart and both of them. So that's not great. I just noticed it here. I don't know, maybe it has been going on for longer. But look, it. Oh my god, now I'm afraid they will fall apart like on our way down there I don't know <laughs> Should I leave you here, go shopping and maybe tomorrow bring you new shoes? <laughs> totally, that's what I want No, this is always us like experienced hikers but at the same time the opposite of professionals <laughs> Amateurs these things happen only to us I don't know, <laughs> like, how is this possible? <sighs> Wish me luck that the shoes hold, because I want to go to the car. And for the next days as well, I don't want to walk barefoot. But that's healthy. Yes, it is, but I don't want to walk barefoot here on Tenerife. <laughs> Okay, let's go. back at the main parking lot. Sadly this is not where our car is because it was hopelessly full when mm. we arrived. So we still have three more kilometers to go over a desert. Sounds great. Yeah. Peter was suggesting that he will wait here for me and I will go <laughs> there on my own and then drive myself here and pick him up. No, I would never do that. I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the mountain where we were looks beautiful right now in the sunset, not yet sunset, but... In sun the sunshine, right <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. I can't believe we were there. Right? It looks impossible. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. And now we are going to walk through that. I will put an arrow to where our car is, so you know. Somewhere there. <laughs> It's interesting to see this structure in a different light and now we can see it's like rocks glued together or something. It looks almost man-made. Like it looks like some alien castle or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. It's so cool. I see it, finally. We are the last ones here for some reason. 
<laughs> of course we are. That's no surprise. And we made it. Yay, we are back at our car. And the most important thing, my shoes are still alive. So <laughs> I am very happy about that. I don't know how long they have left, but hopefully a few more days. As our car was going lower and lower from Mount Teide, which is there, look what happened. This is absolutely epic. The cloud sea is here and we are above it and the sun is setting. It looks... Wow! <laughs> I can't... Guys, this is heaven for a meteorologist. Peter is I, overwhelmed. I am, wow. When I'm overwhelmed, I just jump around and I want to show you everything. Hopefully the camera can capture the beauty that into the sun, it looks amazing. Wow, I need to show this. Wow. Wow, it's so amazing. <sighs> Oh my god, what say you? It really is good. <laughs> yeah.